Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Melody Susie Jelly Gels Gradient. And this one's for at Wanda or one day, 1030. Here is the products I'm using today. I've got their top coat and base coat and then the blue and the gray gel polishes. And I picked up a bunch of like little like gradient type brushes, you know, like a stippling brush and a couple of different little gradient brushes and I bought the little spongy thing for doing like sponge gradients for regular polish um, just wanted to you know kind of show them and we're going to use some of them today with this I am going to do these on tips and then apply them to my nails we are going in with some base coat here these are gel products if you like the look of this manicure you can achieve that with um, regular polish just use regular polish um, and you know kind of follow the design uh, using your regular stuff I just wanted to use these real quick um, this is the blue I know it doesn't look very blue you can kind of see on the stem it looks blue um, I did a coat and I am curing these every time I do something I cure it in between for you know 30, 60 seconds under my UV LED lamp and now I'm going in with the gray up at the blue at the top and the gray at the bottom. I did do a little blue on the base underneath. And now here we go with some swishy swishing with one of those gradient brushes. And then I turn the nail around. This is why I did this on tips. I could never get this done on my hands like for practicing. I definitely needed to practice on some tips. So I've cured it. Now I'm going in with another layer of the blue on the top. And I'm hoping it'll build up enough to you know do this manicure I'm wanting to do they are jelly gels these are not you know intended to be opaque so the gray is a little bit more um, yeah, opaque in my opinion so here we go we're gonna get our little uh, gradient brush out again and swipe down kind of bring the blue down into the gray and then turn around and bring some of that gray back up into the blue um, I actually had recorded this like forever ago had it all uploaded to YouTube ready to go and um, I posted a video today that had no sound on it so I went back through all of what was already there and realized that there were about five videos that whatever for whatever reason uh, lost the um, audio to them so here we are redoing a voiceover and to be honest, I think I've done this one like three times already. But here we are on like the third coat of um, <clears throat> Gradient. And they've all been cured three three times with the coats. And now we're going in with some top coat. And we're going to seal this all in and put it under the lamp and dry it. I'll be using this plate here. It's Maniology and I can't see it. And then some more Maniology. This one's Splash. And then coconut, my favorite. And we're just going to stamp with those today. I've got out a Maniology Cube Stamper and some um, little scraper card from Maniology. And we're just going to do some stamping over these. Um, we'll see what we like, what we don't like, if we need to change anything. Can't hardly see anything there. Um, I sure hate that I didn't write down the name of that plate. It just makes me crazy when I do stuff like that. Okay, I've got out actually a couple of Maniology plates. Um, these appear to be older ones. If I can remember, I will zoom in and figure out what these plates are and list them in the description box for you. I apologize, but this is a hot mess and this happens from time to time. Other YouTube creators out there, I know you know what I'm talking about. You think you got it all. And thankfully, I still had the files. Um, I do try to hang on to them, but I couldn't find the audio file. It was gone, but it had the video file. So I was like, okay, I can save this. I can go back and do another voiceover and post this. I'm using a little piece of tape here to pull up some of the excess up that I don't want on this nail, on this design. And we are, it does look like we're just kind of going through with the, no, now we're going to go in with coconut. So I did the blue on some nails, now I'm going to do coconut. 
And these are just like all weather looking. And I think back when I did this, it was quite nasty outside. Um, I do record well in advance a lot of times. I'm not saying that they're ready and put up on YouTube and ready to go, but I do a lot of the recording and then I go back and do the voiceovers. But like I said, I really do believe I've done this voiceover for this particular video three times. I, I thought about just slapping some music over it and just being done with it, but eh, nope, you guys deserve better, so I'm not going to be a slacker. I'm going to push on through and get her done. All right, so I do clean my plate off with acetone clean it off really well at the very end, get it all clean, and then I normally use a lint-free wipe with some alcohol to wipe over it to take that fogginess off. Now that I've got my stamping done, I'm going in with the Melody Susie top coat again and going over that, and we're going to cure that also for 60 seconds. We've got another one over here. This is the blue. Um, when you're using gel products, you don't need to, you, well, I don't say you don't need to. You can, you can do whatever you want, but I don't use the smudge free top coat because the gel polish for whatever reason doesn't seem to bother it. Here we go with the little glue tabbies. We're going to apply that to the nail. I've already got the rest of them on. Let's just do this last one together. Um, push them down, rub them down, make them stick really well, and then good luck trying to get them off. There we go. I actually did pretty good on that one. Alright, get this nail off of this nail stand. And then put it on that nail, girl. Let's see what this looks like. Let's get a better view of it. I want to thank Wanda, or One Day, 1030, for at requesting this. I hate that it took so long for me to get it there. Um, and I'm just showing you real quick that this is how I did these tips. When I got started, I used some of the little sticky tabs to stick the nails onto this um, nail sand. I just wanted to share that with you. I don't always share all the ins and outs, but they fit up under there really nice, and looking through them, you're not seeing that big blob of blue um, poster tack or whatever. I like it. I don't know who I saw doing it, but thank you for showing us this. And there's my swatch photo. I do hope you enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun with it. And that is it for me today. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.